Would you consider rescinding the fetal heartbeat law that was passed in the previous legislative session? Jim hearing it. I think, um, which was mentioned earlier, that this is probably something that's going to be challenged by the Iowa Supreme Court and will go forward. Uh, whether it, or not it will be upheld, um, we'll know in the near future. And will it be a costly endeavor? Yes, it will. But sometimes when it comes to issues that are extremely uh, challenging, that are controversial, and that create um, tremendous animosity on both sides, it is best that that um, be challenged, be brought up legislatively, have the people decide, and then um, if it's challenging the uh, court system, uh, I think that offers resolution to people on both sides of the issue. It's difficult as a woman to, to face this issue. I'm also Catholic. I am um, pro-choice, but it's a very sensitive issue. And when Roe v. Wade was decided, and even since that time, we have not done a favor to women. There are women who have had abortions who regret that they've had abortions and don't know where to seek solace or help or support. And there are women who are caught in an untenable situation um, that they're looking for guidance and a resolution to their situation and the best thing for they and their family to do. Ultimately, as a doctor and a healthcare provider, I think these are decisions that are best left to providers, to doctors, and to patients. I don't want the government in my healthcare decisions. Um, and I think that that's why it's a good thing to bring it up and to be challenged. But it is a very personal issue. When I talk to people, I can tell you women may support it or not support it, but they don't think that abortion should be used as birth control. We need to continue to educate. We need to make sure that young women are, have available resources, both for birth control um, and uh, the educational uh, wherewithal to be able to prevent pregnancy. Time.